Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to a Fly TV video featuring Captain Fantastic on the road. Currently with uh, Starlink up and going, I just received this email from Starlink April 18th at 11.30 a.m. saying, Starlink is now offering a new maritime mobility plan. For $329 a month, that is Canadian currency, that provides 50 gigabytes of priority data, which enables their fastest network speeds for consumers and can be used on the ocean and land. After using your 50 gigs of priority data, the plan includes unlimited data on inland coverage, lakes, rivers, anywhere in the continental U.S., Canada, Central America, or uh, even South America now, or it says anywhere Starlink has service around the world. Additional priority data with access to oceans will be available for purchase in your account page at a later date. I heard that is coming up May 1st or May 15th. To upgrade to the new plan, you can sign into your account, click Manage under your Starlink, and then click Change Service Plan. Now, what's cool is they are truly admitting here that they have access, or that you do have access to service anywhere on the oceans. Do you need this maritime mobility plan? I think not. You will not get priority data, but I have found that without priority data, it still works pretty darn good. Uh, you do seem to get some pulsing between satellites, which generally means uh, lag, uh, buffering is probably the better word, between satellites. So as one satellite is passing over you, it goes down, it kind of loses uh, continuity for a quarter second, half a second, uh, while it connects to the new one. Uh, it's almost seamless, but not 100% seamless. However, if you're not streaming and it's not of major importance, it, it works pretty good, especially if you're using a device where you can set up a two or three second buffer on your streaming device, which, uh, like I use a formula, uh, Android based and Linux based TV box. And while watching live TV with that, uh, I can set the two second buffer and it kind of makes up for that lag or that buffering, uh, between satellites, what I'm trying to say. Anyways, uh, this sounds like Starlink is definitely trying to make us all happier, give us more options. Uh, what I'd like to see are prices start to come down uh, instead of prices going up. I mean, the service is great. The fact that uh, I have Rome and I can use it all over the Great Lakes, which I have tested and used. Uh, I've used it in motion and it seems to work pretty good up to about 40 miles an hour. Uh, it works good. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with my Starlink service so far. So good. Uh, I'm switching it between the sailboat and the Captain Fantastic Nomad van and seems to be working great. Anyways, just wanted to fill everyone in that doesn't already know about this new mobility plan. I'm sure most subscribers do, but for those of you just wanting to consider Starlink, it's one more reason to jump on the bandwagon. I have also heard that customers that are existing when prices uh, change will get special benefits compared to latecomers so you might want to buy your equipment uh what's nice with the roam plan is you can turn on turn off turn on turn off at will and only pay for it when you need it uh but staying an existing customer is always a good thing customer loyalty with anything elon musk related tends to have its benefits thanks for tuning in to another video guys take care and take care of one another bye now